Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this everyday makeup look with quite a bright, bold, purple lip. So if you want to know how to recreate it, then just keep watching. Thank you. So firstly, I'm going to prime my skin using Bare Minerals Prime Time. I just take a small amount of that on the back of my hand and then I use my fingers to rub it in. It's just slightly tinted and it has an SPF in and it's quite moisturising. So I know it's been ages since I filmed, about five, six weeks or so, um, because it's been Christmas and New Year's and things, and then I've had quite a lot of drama and things going on, which um, if you read my blog could be up to date with all that information. I'll um, link it below so you can sort of catch up with everything. Next I'm going to use Collections Last Imperfection Foundation in their lightest shade. I'm just going to take that onto a buffing brush and buff a thin layer of that all over my skin. As with all products, I like to do several thin layers because I think um, the payoff is a lot better and it prevents your makeup looking too cakey. So that's what one thin layer of that product looks like. I'm just going to take a little bit more over my cheeks and my chin. And with whatever's left on the brush, put that on my forehead. Now I'm going to take Collections Last Imperfection Concealer and just run that under my eyes, down my nose and on my chin. Just place it anywhere where you feel you need a little bit extra coverage. Now I like to dab the brush on these areas so as to not swipe the product all over the place. Now I'm just going to leave my foundation and concealer to sink into my skin for a bit before I powder it and set it because I find then that the makeup lasts a lot longer and um, just makes my skin look a little bit more natural. So I'm going to move on to my eyes now. First I'm going to prime them with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. This is in the anti-aging formula. Just take a small amount of that on my finger and just run it all over my eyelid. And you just want to tap this on with a finger or with a brush. You don't want to swipe it across the lid because you don't want to drag the skin here. Now I just a skin colour powder, I'm just going to set all of that in place. If you don't have skin colour powder, you could use a translucent one. I'm just going to take a soft caramel colour from the Sleek's Ultra Matte Palette. I'm going to take that on a crease brush and just run that through the crease. So you just want something that's slightly darker than your skin tone um, and I've chosen something warm toned because the lip I'm going to be using will be warm toned as well. And then with a slightly smaller brush I'm just going to take the warm terracotta shade and run that through the crease as well. And then back to your first brush and just start to blend that out a little bit. I'm just going to take Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper and just do a small line. Next I'm going to set my under eye concealer with that translucent powder from earlier. And then with our crease brush I'm just going to take that caramel colour and just run it under the eyes. From the Sleek Highlighter Palette, I'm going to take the lightest white shade and just use that as my inner corner highlight. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of that under my brows. I'm just going to curl my lashes and put my mascara on off camera and then I'll be right back. I'm just going to set the rest of my foundation. If you have really dry skin, you don't necessarily have to set all of your face. You could just set the areas that you find wear off the quickest. I'm going to take Rimmel's Matte Bronzer and just run that over my cheeks. And then take a little bit more of that on the temples. And a tiny bit across the top of the forehead. Now I'm going to use the pink from the Sleek Highlighter Palette. Take 
that on a small fluffy brush. Well, it's actually an eyeshadow brush, but it's a large eyeshadow brush or a small face brush. I'm going to take that across the tops of the cheeks and slightly curve up the end. And take a small amount across the cupid's bow. And then when I have less product on the brush, I'm just going to start to blend them out a little bit more. I'm just going to use Makeup Revolution's Arch and Shape to fill in my brows a little bit. Then I'm going to take L'Oreal's Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark and just run that through my brows to set them. Now on my lips I'm going to use Purple Poison by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. I'm just going to do that off camera because I have to get so close to the mirror that you can't really see anything and um, then I'll be right back. So there you go guys, that's the makeup look complete. If you have any requests at all for any future videos then please comment below and I will try and get back to you. And um, I hope you have a lovely day and thank you again for your support. Take care, bye bye.